All right, so let's take a look at this movement. This is a kettlebell halo with an overhead tricep extension. So the idea behind this move is not to go super heavy. It's about control. It's about range of motion. It's about getting that full range all the way around through this movement, right? So first thing we're gonna do, pick up the kettlebell. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the bell. So I'm looping my thumbs around the handles, holding the bottom of the kettlebell. We're gonna start at the chest. We're gonna start with the halo on both sides. So as we're doing this halo, we wanna keep the kettlebell as close to the body as you can. All right, elbows stay tucked in. We don't wanna flare them out at any point. Again, as close to the head and the body as we can get it. After you've performed one on each side, we're gonna go for an overhead press, full extension at the top. Make sure we're not shrugging those shoulders. Keep them down and back. Again, elbows stay tucked in, and we're gonna allow that kettlebell to drop behind the head. Come all the way back up, bring that kettlebell back to the chest and repeat going the opposite direction. Again, one halo on each side. Overhead press all the way up, extension at the bottom, back up and back to the chest. All right, so cues to think about, keep those elbows tucked in. Again, we aren't flaring the elbows here. We're keeping that kettlebell nice and close to the head and pay attention to the lower body. If you notice that your hips start to go back and you're poking the booty out, we don't want that. We want those hips to stay tucked under, a nice little bend in the knees, all right, also not locking them out, and nice proud chest at the top for the duration. All right, so that is our kettlebell halo with tricep extension.